What's up data pipeliners, it's data engineer one here. Today we're going to be talking about building documentation for your Kedro project. So Kedro comes with a fantastic utility built into the Kedro command line interface, which allows you to build documentation pertaining to your Kedro project. This is super useful when you want to share your project with your colleagues, coworkers, or other people in your company or around the world. The Kedra documentation relies on the Sphinx framework and Python docs. And so let's go ahead and take a look what exactly are Python docs and how can we use them to build out our Kedra documentation. I have here on the left a great article from DataCamp talking about doc strings in Python. This was actually linked inside of the Kedra Read the Docs. If you want to know a little bit more detail, I highly recommend you take a look at that link. I'll leave the link in the description below. But for now, we're just going to take a look at our Iris dataset pipeline. And so looking underneath our node for data engineering, split node, you're going to notice that there is a large block of text that is right here. This block of text is the Python documentation. This documentation in particular will show up for this function. So it's actually very, very cool. If I were to, for example, open up a Jupyter Notebook right here, so I'm just going to go and start up Kedra Jupyter Notebook, I can access this documentation in two ways. Inside of Jupyter Notebook, if I type in help and I put split data as the function into the help function as a parameter, I actually can get back exactly this documentation right here. Node for splitting the classical Iris data set into training and test, etc, etc, which also shows off the signature as well. And so this is really nice because without, without having to look at the code itself, I can figure out what are the parameters that this function takes, what are the types of the parameters, and what is the return value, plus what does the function do at all. Jupyter Notebook also comes with some nice features. If you just type in split data or whatever function name by itself, open up the parentheses, close the parentheses, and then press shift tab, you actually get a similar interface that just pops up here. And so that's all well and good, but what does this have to do with our Kedro documentation? Well, it's actually these Python documentation strings that are fed directly into Kedro build docs. So let's go ahead and close this Jupyter notebook, and I'm going to go ahead and run the function Kedro build docs. And what this is going to do is it's going to traverse our entire pipeline, looking through every single module and pulling out the signatures and PyDoc strings for every single function and pipeline. And so here we're doing the build docs. It's running through Sphinx and it's going to be outputting the documentation into the build docs folder here. So if it's underneath docs build, and then we have the HTML. And if we just open up this index right here, I'm just going to drag it over, we can see the entire documentation for this project. And in particular, the one that we were looking for was underneath the pipelines, data engineering and nodes module. And here we have exactly our split data string. And so we see the function here as well as the parameters that are in place, and the Python documentation. Now in this case, it didn't pick up the type signatures from the function signature itself, but you could also add in those parameters here. And there you go. I've modified the Python doc string to include these special keywords. This keyword param refers to any parameter that is passed into the function. And in this case, I'm being specific around the data parameter. 
And not only this, but I've added a little bit of extra documentation referring to what this parameter does. Then I added this extra line, type data pandas data frame. And so I'm saying that the type of the data parameter is a pandas data frame. So this is what's going to be returned. And of course, this is available here in the type string, uh, but this is repeated in the Python doc string in this case. And when I run build the docs, you can see here the parameters now show up as part of the documentation talking about the data parameter, the type of the data parameter, and what it is looking for in terms of a valid parameter argument. And so you can go through and take a look at all of the functions that are currently existing in your pipeline. You can add in these documentation strings and easily build out these Kedro docs. And of course, there's theming that can be done. There's a lot of uh, options that Sphinx comes with. So there's many, many things that are available to you. But thanks to the standardized nature of Kedro, we are able to create documentation very quickly and easily with the built-in tooling that is there for us. So thank you for joining me today in this very quick video. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have any questions, make sure to stop by the Kedra community or leave a comment below. And if you guys enjoy this content, make sure that you button that like, sub that subscribe, and ring that ding if you want to know when we are pipelining. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.